Hello guys, my name is Ekato Christian. I'll quickly like to talk about the African music or the Afro beat music. There is presently um, an issue between the Nigeria music industry and the Ghana music industry. And that has sort of spilled into the international scene, whereby that at the forthcoming Afro Nation music festival, no artist from Ghana, I'm told, would be featured at the Afro World event. This is crazy. I love Ghana music. I love Nigerian music. I love African music. In short, I love music sung and performed by black artists. It is not easy to break into the music scene, but haven't come this far for us to be fighting over, um, you know, airplay, music airplay, you know. There are several ways to build the music industry in your country. It is not by banding um, other African nations from performing in your own country. I'm not being specific here. You know, Ghana music is doing very well. Nigerian music is doing very well. South African music is doing very well. Music from the Middle East is doing very well, you know. So, but um, the way to grow is to move together, not as an individual, but to move together as a group. There is power in coming together. In short, the Bible said that two cannot work together except they agree. So I encourage everybody who is interested in African music to come together and work together. Okay, so whatever differences exist between us, let us find a way around it. The only way to grow in the 21st century is for us to relate together effectively, to find creative ways to, re to relate together. So um, I think it is too late to make a plea to organizers of Afro uh, Nation, you know, um, those guys that organize the events to bring um, artists from Ghana to that space, you know, but maybe it, it will be a lesson for people who think that divide and rule can work. It will not work. Let us move together as African. Okay. What has helped Europe is Europe coming together. What has helped Asia is Asia coming together. Okay. So let us not allow that divisive and divisive strategy thinking that if we lock up our gates, lock up our boundaries, restrict movement, you know, that we will grow. No. Nobody grows without the other. Imagine um, a number like zero. It took thousands of years before zero could be added to uh, mathematics or arithmetic. But it was the Arabs, you know, that brought the concept of zero. And today, you can hardly do anything in mathematics without the use of zero. As insignificant as zero is. You know, the numbering system in our world today is not complete without that contribution from the Arab world. So let us work together. It pays us to work together than to work separately. So this is just my little bit. 